Hey guys, what's up? Xavier back again with another video. And you know what time it is. It's time for another video game review. That's going to be in my video game reviews playlist. So we're pretty much wrapping up reviewing and celebrating the 20th anniversary of the first three Crash Bandicoot games in the original trilogy. Because next September, we will be celebrating 20 years of a racing game spinoff. And in November 2020, we'll be celebrating 20 years of a party game spinoff. I really don't know when I'm going to review and celebrate the 20th anniversary of other Crash Bandicoot games, but I want to keep things simple for now. So without further ado, let's get right into my review on the game that just turned 20 years old yesterday on Halloween when I thought it was supposed to be turning 20 years old this Sunday, November 4th. Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. Plot. After the Cortex Vortex is destroyed by Dr. Nitrous Brio's laser beam device, pieces of the station crash into a tropical mountain. This sets free an entity known as Uka Uka, the mastermind behind Cortex's previous schemes. He gets angry at Cortex's failures to retrieve the crystals and gems so he can recur it. So he recurs Dr. Nefarious Trophy to join him and Cortex in their latest plan. Meanwhile, at the home of the Bandicoots, Aku Aku senses Uka Uka's emerge and tells Crash and Cortex to come inside. Aku Aku tells the two that Uka Uka is his twin brother and that he was locked in an underground prison centuries ago to protect the world from his malice. Crash, Coco, and Aku Aku must go to the time twisting time twisting machine and proceed to the crystals and the gems to thwart Cortex's minions, including Tiny Tiger, Dingo Dial, and Dr. Ann Jin. Gameplay. Crash and Coco start the game with five lives. A life is lost when they are struck by an enemy, attack, or suffer any other type of damage. More lives can be earned by collecting 100 Wamper Fruit or breaking open a special crate to collect a life. If the player runs out of lives, the game is over. Crash also has new ability moves such as the Super Body Slam, the Tornado Spin, the Fruit Bazooka, and the ability to run faster. Now let's get to the positive and negative about Crash Manicoo Warts. The positive. I'm very happy that they got Crash teaming up with his younger sister Coco instead of having Crash complete every single stage on his own. And I like how you can check how many boxes you've broken by pressing the triangle button. Also new to Crash Bandicoot 3, which should have been in the first game. Because when you press triangle to check how many boxes you have, there's, what is it? You can check how many boxes are in the stage total. There wasn't any feature about this in Crash Bandicoot 1. In Crash Bandicoot 2, you can check how many boxes you've broken, but you don't see the total amount of boxes. Thank God Crash 3 fixes that because now you know how many boxes are in the stage total and you don't have to worry about whether or not you get the box gem. And I also like how they got Crash. They have new super abilities for Crash. My favorites are using the Fruit Bazooka and using the Super Body Slam. The graphics in the game are phenomenal. The soundtrack is phenomenal. And they have more variety of villains besides Tiny Tiger and Dr. Anjin and Cortex. And there's 
pretty much no negativity, no negative comments about Crash Bandicoot War due to the fact that it's actually a great game for the PlayStation 1. It's pretty much almost everybody's favorite game in the Crash Bandicoot trilogy, which my favorite being Crash Bandicoot 2. And this was definitely one of PlayStation's best selling games of all time. But Naughty Dog felt they needed to move on and work on other projects. But before they left completely, they had time to make one more game. So next year on September 30th, 2019 will be the 20th anniversary of my favorite racing game and my favorite game in the Crash Bandicoot series, Crash Team Racing. And on November 6th, 2020 will be celebrating 20 years of the first Crash Bandicoot game that didn't have any developments with Naughty Dog, Crash Bash. I'm thinking about doing a review on those two games again to celebrate their 20th anniversaries because I did a review on Crash Team Racing in honor of its 15th anniversary. Now next year I'm thinking about reviewing it again in honor of its 20th. And I did a review on Crash Bash in honor of its 14th anniversary and I'm going to do it again two years from now in honor of its 20th. Crash Bandicoot Warped gets an official Stan subverted rating of a 9.5 out of 10. If you definitely like this review, hit that thumbs up. If you like my content, subscribe to my channel. Click on the notification bell for any video that I upload. And if you want to me to review another game, let me know in the comments below which game should I review next. Even though my next video game review is coming Friday, December 14th. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters for the Super Nintendo in honor of his 25th anniversary month. Don't follow your dreams. Chase them. Peace. Happy belated 20th anniversary to Crash Bandicoot Warped.